So you're probably starting to celebrate the wonderful news with family and friends, starting to really feel pregnant, feel good in your body. Not quite so uncomfortable yet, that will come. So enjoy this time, enjoy where you are right now. Hopefully a little less sick if you are having any morning sickness. My heart goes out to you if you're still feeling it. And hopefully you're finding you've got a little bit more energy. So for that really lethargic feeling of trimester one has hopefully started to lift a little, feeling a little bit lighter in your body. Still feeling into the changes that are going on, but hopefully as a whole, feeling really good. So today's practice is a little bit more energetic than the last trimester. We do move through a few modified sun salutations. If this is your first experience of yoga, other than trimester one, again, remember to take it easy, I'll always offer the knees. If you've got an advanced practice of yoga, I dare say you probably know how to modify anyway, so you won't need me to do that. But always listen into what's going on. So throughout my pregnancies, I did have a strong yoga practice. But that's because I was practicing yoga for so long beforehand, so it was already I was already quite connected to what was going on in my body and I knew when I needed to ease off. That being said, alignment is still so important. We spoke last time about how your body is releasing and relaxing even more so now as your belly begins to grow. Suddenly your weight is shifted. Um, for me, I found as my pelvis started to widen, I was getting a little bit of back pain in the lower back, as in the sacrum, and that's quite common during pregnancy and it often means that because I'm already quite flexible any opening or widening further of the legs is actually making the situation worse. So we do need to be mindful of that, keeping that alignment in the pelvis which again we'll do a little bit of cat cow shortly to check back in with that alignment and in all of our poses making sure that we're holding muscles tight as we stretch to really support those joints and ligaments whilst we do so. So let's get started. We're going to come straight into cat cow today. So we come into tabletop, which is how we can really think about our alignment through that pelvis and through the core. So if your shoulders are directly over the wrists, the knees are under the hips. So take them a little bit wider. We have to underestimate. And just as you inhale, let the head rise and the tail lifts slightly. So we're already quite naturally in this position whilst pregnant because the belly is drawing us that way. So don't go too far. You don't need to stretch too much in this way whilst pregnant. As you exhale, gently tuck the tailbone under, roll through the upper back and look towards the thighs. As you inhale, gently sink the belly and lift the chest. Exhale, look back. Inhale, rise, look forward. Exhale, sit back. This time as you do so, just notice that pelvic tilt just as we practiced last time. And then let the pelvis find neutral. So you'll notice there's a difference between tuck, ski slope, find center. Again, that's how we want to hold our body during the day and whilst we move through all of these poses. Core is gently tightened. So even though those muscles are starting to loosen, you can still be aware of that action to support the muscles of the back. Let's take an exhale and sit back towards the heels, taking the knees wide and stretching the arms forward. So we take the knees wide to make space for the growing belly. If it's not comfortable stretching the arms all the way out, you can bring the forearms down even bringing the bolster underneath the chest. And as you inhale, switch the arms forward once more. Bring the knees back in as you press into them. Tuck the toes under and lift up into your down dog. So keep the knees generously bent. Lift the tailbone high. And then slowly draw the energy down through the heels. The elbows draw in slightly. The head and neck relaxed. We are going to move through a few gentle sun salutations. Go slowly. If you're feeling any dizziness, come back down to the floor, find your child's pose. So 
So as you inhale, look towards the hands. We're going to step feet forward, nice and slowly. Bring them nice and wide for support. Let the head and neck rest. Tailbone lifted, bending generously into those knees. And as you inhale, bring the hands onto the thighs. Inhale, straight back, straight legs. Exhale down. And then as we inhale, bring the hands back up to the thighs and slowly bend the knees. Rise and stand all the way up. You're going to bring the hands through heart to keep it rising all the way to the ceiling. And then exhale, slowly rolling down. So the reason we move so slowly here is the change in blood pressure often means we suffer some dizziness and we don't want to move too slowly in either direction. So inhale, bow pull. If it feels good this time, you can bring hands to shins. Exhale, release it down. As you inhale, step the legs back. The knees straight down to the ground. So here's where I say, if you do have a strong practice, you can practice off the feet. So exhale, we're going to lower down just until the belly nears the floor. So it's probably about here for you. And then exhale, draw back to child's pose. And then inhale, tuck the toes under, lift up through down dog. As you inhale, step that left foot forwards. Take the back knee down. Inhale, rise the hand. If it doesn't feel comfortable here, you could bring the hands onto the hips, lift the chest. Exhale, hands back down onto the ground. Press into the floor, step that front foot back, down dog. Little out through the heels. Inhale, look towards the hands, stepping that right foot forward, back knee down. Go as slow as you need to go, there's no hurry. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands down to the ground. This time, as we pick the back heel up, you're going to step that back foot in. Again, keeping the legs nice and wide to support. Exhale, forward fold. As you inhale, bring the hands back onto the thighs, bend the knees, rise the chest. Slowly rising all the way up, hands through the heart, all the way to the ceiling, exhale and fold. Inhale, bow pull, hands to the shins, exhale, release. Inhale, step those feet back, take the knees down, exhale, squeezing the elbows in and only coming as low as you can before you feel Proximity to the floor is becoming a bit uncomfortable. Sit back towards the heels. Inhale, tuck the toes, down dog. Inhale, left foot steps forward, back knee down. Rise. And this time, drop the hand down. Just reach gently down towards the floor, reaching the other arm over. Exhale, opposite side. So just feeling into the body how this changes the balance and counterbalancing as you do so. Inhale, back up. Exhale, hands back down. Press into the palm, step that front foot back, down dog, pedaling out through those heels. Inhale, opposite foot steps forward, back knee down, rise up. Exhale, lean, reach. Other side, inhale. And bring the hands back down to the floor. Lifting that back knee up, shifting the weight, stepping forward. Forward fold down. Inhale, bow pull. Exhale, release. Inhale, bend. You 
Squeeze the thighs, slowly rising up, hands through heart. And exhale, fold. Inhale, bow pull. Exhale, release. Inhale, step those feet back, take the knees down. Exhale, lower. Child's pose. Tuck the toes. Down dog. So pedal out generously through the heels here. Bending deeply into one knee and then the other. Taking the feet wider than usual, walking the hands back a few paces. Then taking the head towards the floor, so bending generously into those knees if it's quite tight through the hamstrings. And just breathing here. And then as you inhale, walk the hands back out, walk the feet back in, take the knees down to the floor, finding tabletop as we did right at the beginning. So setting this area, setting the pelvis, drawing the core gently in, even doing a few cat cows to find that alignment if you feel you've lost it. And then inhale, one leg out. Exhale, knee to chest, just curling in however is comfortable for you. Keep pressing strongly through both palms. Once more. And exhale it down. Opposite side, inhale. Exhale. So coming back to the original side, taking the leg out. And then slowly taking it out to the side, just a little and only to where it feels good for you. Exhale it back through centre. Inhale it out. Exhale back through centre. Out. And back through centre, lowering it down. Just moving around in your tabletop here for a moment, releasing any stagnant energy. And then off. And then opening up through the other side. Inhale. Exhale it back. So this shifting of weight may not look like we're doing much, but if you're actually practicing with me, it changes how we feel through the core, changes how we have to counterbalance with the rest of the body. And we are working fairly hard. Take the knees wide. Take a seat back towards them. Stretch the arms forward and sink down into child's breath. Just slowly come to rise, coming to take a seat. So again, feel free to support yourself however you need, sitting up onto a blanket or a bolster. We're going to move into either just a cross leg position, with one foot over the opposite ankle, or if you can, take the foot up and over the knee, flexing the foot so into a half lotus. So we're just going to inhale and direct the torso over the top thigh. And then as you exhale, just gently bring the palms onto the floor. If it's comfortable, you can walk further forward. You should be able to feel this stretch through the hip. So inhale, sit tall, exhale, just release into that tension. Slowly rising back up, releasing the legs to the opposite side. So again, if you can't get your foot up there, it doesn't matter, just cross ankles. Inhale, lift through the chest, exhale, just moving until you can feel it in that hip.
Bring the hands into heart center. Settling in, realigning with center, connecting in with that breath. And feeling the energy that we've built in the body today. Perhaps feeling into the heat still. You'll notice as you progress further throughout your pregnancy that you really do become quite the little incubator and your heat will rise quite rapidly. So just feel into that heat, perhaps feel into the sweat that's been built today. Feel into the connection, into the knowing that your body is doing exactly as it should. Gently closing down the eyes, bring the hand to heart, hand to belly. Feeling into any new fears that may have arisen for you in the last few months. Perhaps fears over changes to your body as they become more prominent. Perhaps Fears over reactions from people around you, workplaces, family, perhaps relationships. And as the presence of this growing baby within you becomes more obvious, perhaps strains start to appear. Lean and trust into this process and stay open to communication, knowing that you can and will get through it. Stay true to your own voice. Stay true to your own intuition. Remembering that you have everything within you that you need for this journey. Everything that you need already resides within you. Bring the hands back to the heart. So thank you for joining me today. I hope that you found this practice started to build some strength and energy in your body and really take advantage of how good you're feeling during the second trimester. So as we head into the last trimester, remember it's a time to start coming back to the center. Um, if you find at any stage during the second trimester that this practice becomes too strong for you, feel free to go back to the first. Just because they're labelled first, second and third doesn't mean that's where you need to practice. Some days finding Shavasana on your back or on your side, perhaps even legs up the wall, will be what you need to do on that day. So honour that, really tune in to what's going on within. And I hope very much to see you in the third trimester where things start to get really exciting. Enjoy the journey. Namaste.